Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Gecko Kujo. Now, when we left off, we had just defended Conodai Castle from a huge amount of enemy units, as well as attempted to head on to Kanayama Castle, I believe it is. And unfortunately, we have been halted by the actions of Lord Haga's party. As you can see here, he has attempted to launch an assault against Conodai, and I returned here to defend it. So we have 231 troops against the enemy 67. So let us join the battle and very quickly thwart their efforts to take this and then we will head on to the nearby Hojo clan fief and attempt to take that with our diminished force because even though I have a huge amount of units in comparison to previously, I am not necessarily fielding the greatest amount of high level units. So that is something that we do need to take into account, I suppose. And now, we will use our bow to great effect. And maybe get some headshots. And, whoa, we actually took out the enemy lord, or at least one of them. Which is not too bad, I have to say. Although, my headshot is... Oh, there we are, there's another one, okay. I was about to say, my headshot rate is not great, but... It appears that maybe it will appear once again. Or maybe not. I'm just trying to take out these gunners, to be honest. These gunners are incredibly deadly. Or at least, not versus me, but against our other forces, of course. But, oh, no, no, ah, oh, I was hoping he wouldn't actually get behind that wall right there. Okay, well, nevertheless, I have used my bow a little bit, and now we will head on to take these guys out with our incredibly good sword. And as I say that, I get a minus 90 speed bonus while using it. That is rather amusing, to say the least. Okay, well, it appears we are done. Yes, it appears we are done. Look at that. Okay, we already took out the attacking force. Huge amount of arrows embedded in the walls here. And, whoa, okay. These bodies were absolutely pincushioned. Now, let us get our bow and attempt some long-range shots. Come on. Yes, there we are. Maybe a nice headshot would be wonderful. Nope, it appears I'm just taking them out anyway. Okay, oh, there's this fellow. Well, we can take him out rather easily. And there we are. Not too bad, if I do say so myself, although we were outnumbering them quite considerably, so I suppose there is not too much to write home about. But nevertheless, we did save most of our units HP, and they did not sustain too much damage. So... Let us now move on from Konadai Castle and head over to Kanayama Castle and attempt to scout it and we will see how many units they actually have there. My relation with all of these villages has improved? Okay, not entirely sure how that happened. A recruiter has bought 50 recruits each? Wow, okay, 100 recruits to Kyoto right there. I think Kyoto has a garrison of over 1500 units now, so... That is rather impressive, <laughs> if I do say so myself. And now let's take a look at... Oh, my. Okay. This may be something that we want to ignore at the moment. I have a feeling that we probably do want to ignore it. It is not going to be something that I think we're going to be able to take that easily, and we'll probably sustain quite a few losses in terms of us not having too many Hatamoto guards. So, I think for now we'll head on to Sakasai Castle instead, and we will see what they have in store for us. Sataki clan vassal over there fighting some bandits. And I believe this is a little bit better. More welcoming to us. How many gunners do they have? I'm not worried about them. I just want to know. Okay. <laughs> they have 12 samurai gunners. 35 veterans. 15 marksmen. And 11 regular gunners. Okay. Well, let us go in and take down their gates. I have a good feeling that we will be able to take this and then maybe even head on to the next castle that we were a little bit too hesitant to take, but oh my, please do not get taken out. I do not have a shield, remember, so this is going to be rather amusing if I get taken out by one of their extremely inept gunners. We have never been taken out by any of them, but there is always a first time. Yes. Okay, well, let's take out this guy at least. He is a little bit too audacious. Look at that fellow just standing on the riverbank. He is being a little bit too overconfident. Okay, how many archers do we actually have here? We have 19 archers. Maybe we want to set them up in the middle of the courtyard here. 
or at least not in the middle, but somewhere around here, and maybe we could then take out some of these units on their way to reinforce their friends. Come on, let's take them out. Yes, there we are. Okay, oh, nice parry right there. Actually, not too bad. Well, I saw it coming from a mile off, but I suppose... Oh, well. <laughs> Every parry I do is a good one, I suppose, because usually it is so rare to see me do such a thing that, yeah, it's relatively good. And I'm taking very unnecessary damage as well. Hmm. Well, nevertheless, our units appear to be doing a reasonable job. Huh. Now that I say that, I look at the casualty screen, and yes, it's actually not too good. Well, nevertheless, we will then tell our archers to charge once again, and I just took 31 damage from absolutely nothing at all, so it appears that the extremely inept gunners are a little bit better than we remember them to be. Potentially. <laughs> okay, well, let us just be cautious. We will head up here, and I have a bad feeling that that guy is going to get taken out. So let's try and assist him with my archery. No. It appears not. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes, there we are. And another one. Yes, there we are. Another nice last second headshot. And, oh, he got stopped by the wall, thank goodness. Otherwise, I probably would have suffered quite a bit of pain there. Okay, come on. No. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, no, I'm against the wall, and I got taken out very easily indeed. Okay, well, as you can probably see, we're having quite a few issues taking this. So I think what I may have to do, actually, is retreat and go all the way to Chosakabe lands and maybe recruit a couple more of their... I suppose noble units in comparison to the village recruits because at the moment we are getting outclassed by the Hojo retainers and various other units that they have recruited from their castles and towns. But maybe considering we have just received a huge amount of reinforcements we will be able to see at least a push over this bridge. That would be nice I think. Maybe, if they're able to do such a thing. It would be wonderful if they could, but we do have the advantage in terms of numbers. So, maybe it would be good, but... Oh, new enemies have arrived. Okay, well, as I said before, I will be heading down to Chosakabe lands and recruiting a couple of retainers. And then, we will head back and finish the work that we started here today. Okay, so just a quick note before we head back to the castle in question. I will be withdrawing some money from the treasury and I'm hopefully going to make this quite a large amount because I am, well, let's say a little tired of running back and forth between Kyoto and the battlefields. So let us take 40,000, 50,000, something like that, and that will be fine. So I will see you back. Okay, so on the way back to the castle in question, I have encountered Lady Marisa once again, and she states, My lord, I grow tired of waiting for the laws of this domain to assemble. Come with me to Edo to exchange our vows. That was a great victory over Lord Baba, wasn't it? I am honored to afford by your side as well. Okay, so we are going to be heading to Edo, I suppose, about the task you gave me. I'm still working on it. Yes? <laughs> Okay, well, should we head to Edo and wed? Maybe that might be an idea, so let us go, shall we? She is traveling to Edo, so yes, it appears this will work. That is wonderful. I am very happy with that, that is for sure. So, I don't know, not yet. I don't want to enter just yet. Okay, there we are. Now we can enter and head into the castle and maybe speak to her, and then it will start off the ceremony. That would be really nice. Yes, let us proceed with the vows immediately. My lord, with this assembly as my witness, I vow to take you as my husband to honor, cherish, and obey you. May the heavens bless us with health, prosperity, and children. I vow to take you as my wife. Oh, yes. And there we are. We gain right to rule. And as you can see here, Shogun Berthild marries Lady Marisa at Edo. We are now husband and wife. Let the festivities commence.
Well, that was very cool. Okay, so there we are. The banner of your wife, Lady Marisa, flies over the town gates. That is great. Okay, so there we are. We have finally gotten married, which is absolutely wonderful. So, here is my new army composition. Now, as you can see, I have mainly taken all of the retainers and various noble units that I had in Kyoto's garrison. And notably, I have some Onabushis, as well as some veteran Onabushis, and maybe, yes, a couple of elite Onabushis as well. So that is wonderful. I absolutely love using those units. They are incredible, or at least they have always been very nice when I have used them. So, let us now move over to Sakasai Castle, and maybe, shall we ask her to accompany us? I think that would be rather nice. Let's do that. Aha! Okay, so let us do this. I want to start a new campaign. Let us assemble the army here. Yes. Okay, so hopefully she will join us now? Yes, she is accompanying us. Wonderful! Okay, so it appears that Lord Musashi is in the area as well, so if we wait a little bit, we may indeed have two vassals to assist us with the Siege of Sakasai. That sounds like a good idea, although the morale may not wait for him to arrive, so we may need to launch a preemptive strike against Sakasai before he arrives. I would like him to appear though, so I will wait. Oh! It appears that Lord Hagar has attempted to take Konadai, and there is Lord Aura, so he is going to be patrolling around here as well. I don't believe he is going to be joining us, as he is following Lord Inamata's party at the moment. Although, maybe he will? No, he's actually in battle against Lord Inamata as we speak. Okay, well, is Lord Musashi... There he is! Lord Musashi with 284 troops! Wow, okay, that is rather incredible. So, let us head in. They have both joined us in our endeavors here. Oh my goodness, this is going to be absolutely insane here. Okay, let's do it. Okay, well, here we are. We have... Well, <laughs> let's just say a large force of units, and we are now prepared more than ever to take Sakasai Castle and maybe even move on to the nearby Kanayama Castle, and we will take that. My short-term memory is awful. I cannot remember the two names of these castles for the life of me, but nevertheless, we are going to be taking them as quickly as possible. Now, I must just mention that I have had two offers of peace from the Hojo clan and they declined each time when I decided to ask for the two castles. Well, at least one castle each time and they declined each time. So yes, that was a little unfortunate, I must admit. I would have liked to have acquired one of those castles for no effort whatsoever, but it appears that I will have to make do with sieging it with the help of our incredibly loyal vassals and I... Sorry about that. I uh, didn't do anything. That wasn't me. It was that fellow over there. Don't worry about it. I don't even have a bow. I don't really use a bow. I... Oh, this thing on my back? Oh no, it's nothing. It's just a decorative ornamental piece. I don't actually use this bow at all. It has been in my families for generations. Yes. Do you think they bought it? I think they did buy it, because otherwise they probably would have killed us on the spot right there. Okay, well that's fine. Lord Musashi seems to be doing an excellent job. Whoa, triple kill from him right there. Mei Ling is also doing a very good job indeed as well. Oh my goodness, Lord Musashi. I had no idea that he was such a beast. Well, there we are. I suppose I will head up the tower here and try to get away from a very controversial headshot, but the, uh, uh, I mean no headshot that I didn't do at all and all of our units were completely fine and for some reason they're heading down the tower and now I'm trapped no wait oh I can actually get past yes not particularly though okay come on yes I can actually get past wonderful I am so thankful that these are only gunners and oh this fellow may indeed be a problem no it appears not whoa I was actually Rather nervous there. Well, we have a great vantage point to fire my ornamental bow that is not active in the least. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, let us attempt to take out the various gunners and units in the enemy's archery nest. 
Is it going to work? Ah. Oh. Okay, come on. Yes. I was hoping for a headshot on that fellow, but no such luck. Oh, I'm wasting too many arrows. I need to get a couple more headshots. Okay, maybe a little bit higher. There we are. Nice damage right there. Take him out. Yes, there we go. Okay, 13 arrows remaining. I think that is probably going to be good enough to finish this siege. And now Kaguya is showing herself to be a very deadly warrior. Maybe Lord Musashi and Kaguya have a thing going on. That would be wonderful if our companions or indeed our other vassals were able to marry each other. I'm not entirely sure whether that's possible, but hopefully it is. That would be pretty cool because I have a feeling that Lord Musashi would like to marry the other female vassal, which I cannot remember the name of for the life of me, but yes, she is around. Not entirely sure, actually. What, what was her name again? Hmm. Wow. That is bad of me, isn't it? Yes, that is incredibly bad of me. Okay, I do need to make sure that I remember that in the next episode. I will take a look at our vassals currently, and I will see what I can do about remembering it, of course. So, come on. Let's take out as many of these units as we can to hopefully cover up the fact that I cannot even remember my own vassals' names. Absolutely terrible. Okay, well, oh my. A lot of incredibly inept gunners over there, everyone. Now let us hope that we will be able to... Well, I don't think we need to hope. They are so bad that there's no way they will be able to take me out. That is true, right? Yes? Okay. Come on, let's do this. It appears that they're all reloading. Okay, that was a great time to attack them, it appears. There we are, not too bad at all, and great. Okay, so it appears that they just ignored the deadliest warrior, well, uh, the, um, not the deadliest, but the stealthiest? <laughs> oh no. Well, yes, I did pass in front of them a little bit, but it appears that they were wanting to reload. I would probably be doing the same. If I was a gunner, I would just want to reload my gun and shoot it all day. It is what we do as gunners, of course. But nevertheless, it appears that we are victorious, and we will now head on to the nearby castle. If there aren't too many vassals there, I'm not entirely sure whether they have reinforced it any further, because, of course, we do have Lord Baba, Lord Akai, and Lord Matsuda in the garrison here. And I am probably going to be letting this fellow go, because, as you can see, he does already have 15 relation with us, and now 20, so that is great. And this fellow has 37 relation. Please defect to us. That would be wonderful. Okay, well, nevertheless, I will be attempting to take as many samurai units as I can, retainers and so forth. Let's do that. So, samurai gunners. Not a big fan of samurai gunners, but I suppose we will take them nevertheless. And, ooh, mounted officers. Very nice. Sounds good to me. Okay, some retainers. And, of course, peasant women. They do become onabushis after all. And now, I suppose, we will just be taking as many units as we can. I will not be selecting them too accurately. Because I would like to be able to field a huge amount. Oh my goodness. This is where I would wish there would be a take all button. That would be a wonderful. Maybe in Mountain Blade 2 they will add a take all button and you'll be able to recruit as many units as you want. Or maybe what would be even better is a checking system. So you have a small tick on the side of each unit and you just click here, click here, click here, and then you click take selected units and then it will obviously recruit them for you, but yes, that may be an idea. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, well, let's take a couple of pieces of loot, but of course, as you saw my treasury earlier, we really do not need any more cash for the rest of this series, I think, probably. We are able to have no problems at all with that. So, aha, Lady Moku. That is the lady that I actually forgot. Seeing as Lord Kikawa has only one village, I will be giving this castle to him. And how are our relations doing? Not bad at all. Everyone is above zero, at least. So, yes, that's pretty reasonable. 
So there we are. Sakasai Castle has now been captured, and I suppose we can now head on to Kanayama Castle and see how many units they have stationed there. Not many at all, but I will be ending this episode off here. And next time on Gekko Kujo, we will hopefully be able to head into Kanayama Castle. We do have two vassals accompanying us after all, so it should be relatively easy. And then, in the same episode, hopefully, we will be able to take Choshi and eliminate the Hojo clan, and hopefully then draw a couple of Hojo vassals over to the dark side, I mean the bear-tilled shogunate. So yes, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.